Unreal Engine. I'm so excited, guys. If you've seen the title of the video, you know it's coming. Did some Roller Coaster Tycoon videos, and now I'm jumping into the game that just got released. It is called... Ooh, there's like some hype music right now. Hold up. Press anything to play. Okay. Bandai Namco Entertainment. This is just an agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree to it. I saw the word survival in there. What does that mean? <laughs> Which graphic settings do you want to start with? They can be adjusted. Well, that's good. I'm moving my camera right now. It's in a weird spot. I'm not using my camera for this gameplay, but I want to turn it. There we go. Uh, we'll use automatic graphic settings. Probably going to be very high end because I have a very good uh, computer. Look, I'm logged in as Dino Mike Gaming YouTube. Okay, so I did not get the annual pass for this game, but if I really enjoy it, I might consider it. Yeah, all my settings are epic. Not really a surprise. A very good computer. Not the best. I mean, I have a 3080 Ti and a Ryzen 9, but it's still really good. Auto saves five minutes. Alright, so we'll leave the settings as is, and we're going to jump right into the campaign. So, boom, there we go. I hope you guys are excited. This is going to be a really short first episode, just to make sure my software is working correctly and everything's all good. But, wanted to hype you guys up. Look at the series I'm jumping into. Ooh. Now, I did play a little bit of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but I, ne Ooh, but I never did play Planet Coaster. From what I understand with this game, basically you can make rides absolutely ridiculous, which I kind of liked. I thought it was a neat concept. And I do like park builders, and I heard this one's not too complicated, so to me I'm like, let's jump into this. This is pretty epic so far. <laughs> and this game's got a whole story to it. I love it. What am I in VR? There's like a blueprint of everything. Blueprint of like a cannon on a coaster, that's cool. Needs a new laptop background, that's so bland. <laughs> this is a really like, Crazy looking intro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so you move with the left, oh, right mouse button. First check the camera. You can also use the uh, mouse, which is cool. You can use the mouse or the arrows on the keyboard. 
You zoom with this in and out. Cool. I like, look, got a soccer field here, a basketball court, ticket shop. Okay, you can rotate with, oh! So all I have to do is hold the middle button on the mouse. I literally think it's called the center button or middle button. Open the help center in the upper right corner and select the roller coaster building help screen. The help center is located in the upper right corner. Oh, there it is. So there's camera controls. Roller coaster building. Build your roller coaster is simple. Oh, building. Move your track to where you want it to go and press the left mouse button to press it. You can exit track placement with that if you want to, the right mouse button. If you want to adjust or delete certain segments of your roller coaster, press the left mouse button. Okay. If you're unhappy with your placement, do not worry. You can select the track segment and remove it by pressing delete. Okay. Hopefully, I remember all this. I'm probably going to forget it, but. And I have to reach the plane? Alright. Oh, from here. Okay. All I have to do is get it to the plane, right? Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. You can roll, apparently. Oh, that's really cool. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Wow. That is pretty cool. There's a lot to this. Left shift is height. Oh man, this is pretty intuitive. Alright, and I just gotta keep moving it this way, it looks like. Park Beyond has many tools to help you build your dream roller coaster. One of the first steps is to learn how to create a curve track. To do this, you can adjust the yaw of the track with R plus the mouse. Yeah. To straighten the track by pressing F. Alright, that doesn't sound too complicated. If I press F, it'll straighten the track for me doing too much of that. Cool. She's scary looking. <laughs> Suppose introductions are in order. I'm Blaze. Yo, my name is oh, Blaze. <laughs> I know, I know, it sounds weird. Ultra wasn't my birth name. No, that's Megatronic. Nah, that's also weird. You can help me build my dreams. No way your parents' surname was up. Megatronic. My life is crazy enough as it is. I was born in a light aircraft somewhere between Cincinnati and Bowling Green. Turns out, the state of Kentucky doesn't have any naming laws, so you can write in what you like. And Mom and Dad, bless them, put every idea they had into a hat. They almost pulled the tag out and named me Size 15 for massive heads. I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything quite as out there as your roller coaster designs. And I like it. Thanks. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what, you've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstormer are developing, but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Nope. Great company. <laughs> Not doing so great lately. I'll help. That someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Phil has thought of. Am I right? Don't 100%. Look at me like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. 
Let's see what you can do with some serious roller coaster kit. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> Build to reach the paper plane. Okay, so I just keep going. And what I can do is just do that. Is there a way to go down? Oh, it even shows you the roller coaster moving. That's really cool. There we go. Changing the height. Now that we covered curve track, let's try to change the height of your roller coaster. I think I just did that. If it, it it's not a pr proper roller coaster if it doesn't go up and down. Okay. Yeah, I kind of know how to do this. So, oh, I have to use a chain lift. Okay. Yeah, so you're just gonna do that with the chain lift. And it looks like I might have to do it again here. The test train runs as preview on the track. Yeah. That's cool. That's something definitely missing from the other roller coaster games. Roller coaster tycoon game, at least that I played in the past. You can control the speed of the test train via the test train paddle on the right. You can fast forward the test train to where you need it to be or to check a specific section of your roller coaster. Okay. And there's even a reset button. Wow, this has everything, man. Yeah, I know. I gotta switch back off. Where is the paper plane? Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. There we go. Look how crazy that is. Boom. But I got where I needed to go. That'll help you turn. That's probably the most important thing here. Okay, so let's get this. Right here, and then it's gotta go up again, so I need that chain lift. Oh, maybe I gotta go back. Where's that back button? Oh, there we go. Now I got to learn how to delete. So there we go. Alright, and I probably need to use a chain lift here. And then a normal track over here. Did I not get to the paper plane oh I don't think it gave me credit for some reason that's weird huh all right well we'll try again hopefully I can get it this time why is it not maybe there's another plane down here and I'm just missing it I might have broke the game I'm a little confused I'm at the paper plane right here. Is this not? Oh. Oh, thank you, game. That's cool that they threw that hint in there. I think I was making a mistake. Okay, so how do I turn it again? I think it's R. I 
how do I change the test again? There we go. Okay, we're good. Reach the helipad. Okay, this is the easy part. I'm ready to sit down again. I have some modules that look like abandoned prototypes for some kind of stunt show. I mean, it's just a circus cannon and a motorcycle ramp. Not sure you can use these. We can definitely add a stunt ramp to the roller coaster. Wow. What a wild concept. Nothing like a giant ramp to launch you into the stratosphere. Even better on a rocket bike, but let's not get greedy on your first day. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm actually going to stop the video here, and we're going to finish the rest of the tutorial in the next video. I just wanted to, wanted to get this series moving and test stuff out, so I'll see you guys soon for more of Park Beyond.